Hello, Mark Crossfield here. Today we're going to do a video talking about fundamentals. So this isn't a video for beginners as such, or it is as well, but it's a, it's a, goal, it's a goal video for everyone. Um, but I want you to try and open your mind to this video a little bit and I want you to try and just not think how you might be or have been thinking for a while. You just, just open your minds to the ideas. So we're going to challenge that there are fundamentals or not in this game and what they might be. We've got GC2 HMT down on the floor. I'm going to collect some data with these yellow balls. So it's not the distances are going to be shorter because they're the range balls. And I've set a little cyber target out there with the machine, which you'll see as well on the video. And I'm going to try and hit target. I'm going to try and hit target breaking down some fundamentals to help you understand what you need to do to play some better golf. Um, let's get stuck in. Let's, let's get into this. Right, so I'm going to hit some shots first towards my target out here and I'm just going to hit with my standard technique. Now I would say my technique is very um, textbook, very neutral, what the kind of grip you should use, fundamentally stand right, ball positions, all where you kind of should have it. I've grown up in an era where it's all position based teaching and I've tried to master each position. So I'm going to hit two shots trying to hit target with my standard action. And again, I'm going to hit one more, just using the action I would use when I play, which is all very, very kind of textbook, how you would read it and watch videos saying you must do this and you must do that. Okay, so there's two shots using my standard technique. Now, I'm going to hit two shots now where I get one of the fundamentals wrong. So let's call grip fundamental. It's fundamental that you hold on to the club. So then people say that it's fundamental, and I've done videos saying that you've got to hold the club in a certain way. Now I'm going to hold the grip or the club in a way which is wrong, strong grip. See all my knuckles, right hand right underneath the club. But I'm still going to try and find that target. So this is fundamentally wrong. I'm going to do another one, strong grip again. So this is a fault. Apparently, this is a grip fault. I'm doing one of the fundamentals of golf incorrect. I have an incorrect grip. Trying to find that target. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit two shots. So we're collecting. I'm going to hit two shots with a weak grip. So I'm going to see no knuckles on my left hand, right hand turn right over the top here. So again, a fundamentally incorrect grip, but I am going to try and find that target. This one I find harder for definite. Okay, I'm going to do one more. And again, I'm going to choose that weak grip, no knuckles, right hand far too over. It's a grip you would never teach and should never be using. Okay, and I'm going to do four more shots. So I'm going to do now one where I've got the ball back in my stance. So I'm going to put the ball too far towards my right foot. So way back in my stance. I'm still going to try and hit target. I'm still going to try and get height as well. I'm not going to try and Hit low, I'm going to try and hit target. So all these shots I'm trying to hit target in almost the same ball flight, if you like. As close as I can get, subject to the massive faults in the fundamentals that I'm putting in. So ball position, stance, definite fundamental. People will talk about got to stand this way, hold it this way and what have you. So I'm again, another one with the ball way back in my stance. It's literally opposite my right heel. Okay, and I'm going to do two more shots before we show the data where I put the ball way forward in my stance. So we're now on the left toe, way, way forward. Again, I'm still going to try and hit target with some kind of playable shot. Okay, and we're going to do one more. Ball way forwards. It's that. So again, off my left big toe almost. 
trying to find target, trying not to go too high, trying to hit a functional shot. So look, there's a series of shots, all playing with the fundamentals of golf. Grip, stance, um, compared to my normal, which would be textbook technique. We're gonna look at how that ball reacted to target. We're gonna look at club delivery. What I always think is interesting, if there are fundamental, and the reason I do this video is that people come into um, lessons and they say things like, I say, so what are we working on today? What can we improve for you? And they say, well, I tend to bend my left arm. And I say, okay, that's right. So what, what's your bad shot? Where does the ball go? Oh, I tend to, I hit it quite straight. I tend to cut it a little bit. Okay, so why do you cut it? Why does the ball go to the right? Well, I've been working on straightening my left arm. It seems to make it better, but if I bend my left arm, it seems to always cut. So how can a bent left arm relate to a cut? I can't, I don't make that connection, but lots of people out there are because there's plenty of videos saying you've got to have your left arm straight, not bent, and you've got to have your grip here, and you've got to have your ball here, and you've got to stand this way, and what have you. So you've got to get these fundamentals correct. Now, I'm not saying you don't need to get certain things correct in your swing, but don't you think it's funny how when you watch golf on telly, you've got the world's best from different parts of the world, and they all do it very different. So you'll get the classic Furyx going this way, obviously very different to your Adam Scott looking technically brilliant, um, Kucha swinging round his shoulders or what have you. So you've got these very different techniques. You'll get Elazabal winning majors with weak grips, other major winners with strong grips. So they're using different grips, different ball positions, different postures. You had Monty standing like this, very hunched back to someone like Rory with a great posture. Um, but they're all able to win. They're all able to find target. Look, let's look at some of this data, talk about the fundamentals and how maybe the only fundamental that there is in this game is impact, that moment that club hits the ball. And the more you maybe understand that fundamental built around whatever your fundamentals are, then a better game you'll have and more chance of hitting target. Let's check this data out. Right, looking at the data here. So we're looking at, let's look at ball flight first. Uh, if we look at dispersions, 7.2 left average dispersion with my standard technique with the one with a strong grip it's 0.5 so much straighter average dispersion you've got one left one right my straighter actual shot was number two there which was with my standard technique but i hit one 11 yards left where i didn't get as far off when i hit a really strong grip interesting so i used the wrong grip and it target more in theory with the weak grip again it's only two yards different to my standard grip i was able to find target I had a nine left and a nine left. Now with the ball back in my stance, averaging one left. So that one is averaging almost my straightest. My two straightest shots with the ball way back in my stance. So on this data, I should be having the ball in the wrong place. I should be having the ball off my back foot. If you use this, obviously you would want to do more tests, but just as a snapshot. And then if we have the ball way forwards, I was again only five left. So my furthest dispersed shot was 11 yards left. And that was with my standard technique. With all the other fundamentally wrong movements, I was able to find target. What I find really interesting with this is if you look at the club delivery, and this is the key, this is the key for you when it comes to the word fundamentals, and this is why it's so important in my opinion that you get on launch monitors like GC2 HMT here and get measured at impact and then work your game backwards from there. Having a bent left arm or not, aiming right, aiming left, it's just, I mean, anyone that watched Kucha at the Masters, I know he didn't win it, but he was competing. He was looking like his feet were aiming so far right at address, but he was obviously working that around his impact, his target finding ability. So if we look at the club data, my club head speed drops slightly when I fall out of my standard technique, so I go slower to find target than I do with my standard technique. You've got to remember I've used my normal technique for years. I've played since I'm, I was 12. Um, so the other ways I've not learned to play that well, I'm kind of just making them up as I go. But because I understand impact, because I understand the feeling of how I'm trying to deliver that club, built around numbers, built around me feeling if I feel like I twist this, does it make any difference? If I feel like I swing that way, does it make any difference? If I feel like I raise the handle, Playing with my numbers allows me to really find target with any fundamental. So my club head speed changed slightly slower as I went into my funkier shots because I'm trying to hit target. My angle of attack barely moves. It's kind of one degree to two degrees max difference. Even when I had the ball way, way forward in my stance, I was still one down compared to my normal technique where I was three down. 
So what happens is I'm still able to try and find, move myself forward, move the handle forwards to find a similar impact. Again, building it around impact. My club path always was very similar. Uh, my weak grip, I moved my path to find target and my strong grip, I moved my path. So I was, I was consciously and subconsciously moving my path around my grip, which I felt like would control the face differently to try and curve that ball, find that target. Again, that's all built around my understanding of impact rather than just building fundamentals, um, which is really interesting. And then loft did vary a little bit, as you imagine, from the ball position, but nowhere near the massive degrees of how far away from the fundamentals I was with my swing. Interesting data. This video is about not saying go out there and practice using a rubbish grip or go out there putting the ball in the wrong place or the too, you know, too far back, too far forward, wherever the wrong place is. This video is more for you guys to try and learn that you need to start understanding and controlling impact a lot more and then you'll be able to control the ball and control your golf game. If you're out there just trying to control your takeaway and that doesn't actually affect the numbers at all. As you can see when I use very different fundamentals, the numbers are changing small and I'm still finding target. Um, then you're actually not practicing anything. You're just practicing what I would call pretty pictures on a video. Get measured. Work your technique back from your delivery. If you've got an issue with your delivery, so the club is always delivered close to a path, always delivered open to a path, then you might use the skills, the tools of changing a grip to so reuse the way you use the club face, changing the aim changing the ball position to redefine the issues with impact. But if you're just thinking, I take the club back here and that's a closed position, so the club is turned down, close to what, but it's closed as you think, um, and you think that's why you hit the ball left, but it's absolutely not. You could swing it there, but just deliver slightly different and find target, aim slightly different, but the ball in a different position. You'll find you'll learn, you'll hit target better, your golf will come down, your scores will get lower, you'll, put, you'll be a better player for it. I hope this helps. Let me, I'd love to know, post comments. I really want to hear what you guys and girls have got to say about this. Is this obvious? Is it not? Is it just out there and you just think, I'm a nutter, what's he saying here? Why would you ever use a strong grip or a weak grip, whatever? Let me just tell you now, when I play golf, I don't play the same shot twice in a round, very rarely. I'll be always playing with dynamic loft, club path, face. I'll be moving the ball, getting it higher, getting it lower, always trying to play golf, not just hit shot standard, standard every time, whatever that standard may be. Um, get measured, go and get a lesson on launch one of the post comments. Let me know if you loved it, hated it, you got it, you didn't get it. I'd love to hear and we'll speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.